what, what do you think was the most uh, got you the most uh, you know, response from from other people that were you know kind of doing the doing the primary thing? People in the audience or people you know on online even um, that were following it. What do you think? What what in, interview and uh, interaction do you think was the most kind of uh, well, r- remarkable? The one that's- <laughs> The one that's been viewed the most is definitely Ron Paul, just because everyone's really excited about him right now. Yep. Like I've there are like over eight thousand views on the YouTube clip. Um, the one that's been blogged about the most, I think, is actually Romney responding to me by saying, "You know, I, I kept like screaming at him, please answer my question. Does the drug war work? Please answer my question." And finally, he walks away. His security stops him and is trying to make him like keep going, you know, away from me because at that point they already knew who I was. And he stops, he turns around, his security guards are like, no, don't do it, don't do it. And he just walks straight towards me and he goes, he goes, uh, you know, this is a really long question and you should go to my website for the answer. And of course I go to his website later and it says the word drug two times, doesn't say anything about the drug war. So uh, there have been a lot of blog posts written about how everyone's really excited to see the new page that Romney's going to type up about his answer <laughs> about the drug war. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's, it's very interesting. I wonder if he has a... Uh, I wonder if this has an... I, I wonder, because his wife has MS. Medical marijuana is a known. The people use that for MS. I just wonder if he he actually doesn't uh, think think about these things when you ask him that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Romney's Romney especially is just so controlled. Every single yep. word that he says is you know pre written, pre approved. Yep. Um, that's why when I went up to him in the spaghetti dinner line and asked him if he supports arresting medical marijuana patients, he completely flipped out, pretended that he didn't understand what I was saying, made up a word. He goes, arresting? Rasting? Rasting, yeah. Rasting? yeah. And just when he totally stalled wow. until finally he was like, I uh, do not support laws that legalize marijuana. Yeah. And, you know, flipped out. His security guard pulled me away at that point. But, like, yeah. everything is really scripted. Yeah. All of his rallies are exactly the same and people actually fall for it yep. it's really scary well it's good that when you're breaking the programming because i i think when uh, what, we, <laughs> what we did what we did as a community in new hampshire we really did change the debate up there we changed the we rattled these candidates we took them out of their comfort zone and you mm-hmm. did it we're gonna play some more clips what else do we have here well i have a mitt romney one it's not with with her is but it the hemp one it's yeah it's the one where they ask about industrialized hemp. we're gonna play let's play the hemp one all right Okay. He said he's not sure okay. what it is. He doesn't know not, what he has industrial. No idea. Conclude that Mitt Romney is unaware of what industrialized hemp is. That's our first, first question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how programmed and scripted he is. We're taking him out of the comfort zone. Aren't we, Arena? That wasn't one of his uh, Google searches. <laughs> <laughs> Santorum was. <laughs> can, can we explain what industrial hemp is to to uh, former Governor Romney in case he still doesn't know? Does everyone everyone in this room knows what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah, <laughs> industrial hemp are... is to grow for fiber, for food, for all these things that we are not allowed to do in America. They do sex. it in Canada, and we import it. Why can't we just grow it here? Or use it as fuel, you know, that's, that's yep, a fuel. huge bio-efficient fuel. Um, but yeah. They talk about oil, and this guy's a business guy. He's missing out on the biggest opportunity in, the, like, you know, in our country right now to, to add new jobs. Why don't we take Green those energy. jobs back from Canada? Um, so what else? Uh, <laughs> you don't really hear that that often. The Canadians took our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they took our weed jobs. Yeah, we want them <laughs> we, back. We want them back. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing them back. <laughs> um, so uh, the uh, the Ron Paul video, definitely, I saw that had gone viral. I think a lot of it was it was like a wrap up. You had done all the, you had gone around and asked all these candidates, and and most of them weren't like Ron Paul. Ron Paul was very open with you. Um, it was that was a great moment. Would you uh, uh, do you plan on uh, following up? At, do we have a phone call? What do we have? No, I got the Ron Paul. Oh, you want to play the yeah, Ron Paul? Why don't we play the Ron Paul audio? Okay. Dr. Paul, why do you think other candidates aren't talking about drug policy? Why they aren't? Why aren't they? We've been trying to interview them all week, and we've gotten some ans- answers. I think uh, I think they're easily intimidated, and they they think that uh, 
people are going to hold it against them if they talk sensibly about the, about drug policy. Uh, yet I think they're about 20 years behind the time. Uh, I think the prohibition of anything doesn't work. The only thing we should prohibit is violence. I completely agree. I'm with Students for Sensible Drug Policy, and a lot of our members yeah, fully we, support it. We sure could use it. <laughs> Thank you. Let's clap for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Arena. That was uh, it, it was an amazing week up there. Are you so? Are you yeah. endorsing Mr. Paul yourself, Arena? Or yeah. are you are, are you a Vermin Supreme fan like me? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. It's just There's one it's right so answer. I mean, <laughs> but definitely, I mean, Ron Paul is is the best candidate for furthering our discussion of drug policy. You know, if not our actual change of drug policy. So I, I don't agree with him on all of his policies. That's but, what I'm saying. Um, that is one that's close to heart. 